Hello and welcome to my page. Hi everybody. My name is Tammy Neff and you are on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage. And I gotta tell you, I just find a lot of joy in doing um, these creations with you and for you. Um, it brings joy to me and my heart and I hope to share joy to you in your home decor and in your creations. So let's um, let's make and this actually today is an extra special joy because we are um, part of a fundraiser uh, Tammy Prangle with um, uh, Crafty Peep is putting on well she's part of um, I guess I should say I think this has been a four-day event um, and she's part of one of the days um, if I'm getting that right. And um, it's for the Tim Tebow Foundation. There's a little blurb that I, um, I printed. She typed a whole bunch of stuff last night for all of us uh, presenters. Um, hi, Stacy. Hi, Kim. And um, so I, I, type, I copied this off because I can never memorize it and get it exactly correct. So I thought, let's just read it and get it correct, right? <laughs> so hi, Martha. Hey, Cynthia. Oh, thank you. So um, this is an event um, for Save the Kids to raise funds for the Tim Tebow Foundation. Um, the mission of this foundation is to help special needs children with physical and emotional trauma and disabilities. The foundation focuses on helping the innocent and the vulnerable um, and then the foundation motto, which we were in the conversation, we were all loving this part. It is fight for the MVP, um, the most vulnerable people. So um, doesn't that just make your heart warm? Hi, Tammy. Um, so yes, Tammy with Crafty Peep. We just talked about her. Hi, Brenda. And um, I want to tell you, I did put in the notes at the top um, that Ellie's Attic is up after me. And then there's only one, uh, one more person, Carol Ruth's creation, um, creation station is up after Ellie. Uh, and then, um, I think I've told you everything. So, um, we're going to do an auction at the end of this. So that's all the, like the facts and stuff you need. Um, but we're going to do an auction at the end of this as they have been doing every day of this event. And, um, at the last five minutes, of the event so um, I'll have to watch my watch and all of that but at the last five minutes we are going to take bids on what we make tonight together and then um, the highest bid will um, have this shipped to them for free so that's how this is going to work I will cover the shipping and all of the supplies to make it and then all of the money gets uh, donated directly to the Tim Tebow Foundation. So let's get started. And I really thought hard about what to make. And I thought I'm going to go back to what started it all for me. Um, I'm going to take these off for a minute. I just need to read comments kind of. <laughs> so, sometimes I, you know, get the wrong name. Um, hey, Pam. Hi, Karen. Uh, so um, when I really first started with all of this vintage stuff, we had um, been at a show and saw this lady had made some decorated bottles. And the decorated bottles have come a very long way with painting them and using transfers and um, molds, putting molds on them and adding lace. Like there's a million ways to do bottles and all of the creators have taken the bottles and gone farther with them um, just by being inspired by other creators and uh, Pinterest and photos that they see and things that they see at shows, which is exactly what happened to me. And so um, I thought I would kind of take you back in time. Um, if you want to see more bottles that I've done, oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Uh, if you want to see more bottles being made, you can always go to my YouTube channel and type in Tammy Loves, or go to YouTube, type in Tammy Loves Vintage. And then I have like my own little search thing where you can search through because I have, um, I don't know if I've hit 700 videos yet, but there's a bunch over there. And if you type in bottle, or bottles, um, you'll probably get several different ones. And so you can go wild on bottles on my thing. So anyway, um, or you can scroll through the feed here, <laughs> whichever you like better. Um, I do have Instagram and I have a lot of photos. You can scroll through and look for ideas because it is nice to just see the screenshots. I see a bunch of words here. Let's see. Um, oh, you're very welcome, Kim. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, well, thanks mom. 
Kathy. Yes, yeah, she saw me in a flannel shirt earlier. It was cold today. Uh, yes, thank you for sprinkling Lavada. Laveda. I bet it's Laveda. That sounds pretty. If you have any questions about the fundraiser. Okay, yes, ask away. Thank you, Kim. That's all. Oh, okay. Oh, well, thank you, Kim. Thank you for letting me know that. So, okay, let's get started. I always have so much chitter chatter. So, when you're out shopping, you're going to find a bottle like this. Now, sometimes they're very cloudy. Um, kind of like this is a little cloudier. Sometimes there's actually mud and dirt inside, bugs, whatever. And um, sometimes there's still liquid in it, like old cough syrup or whatever it might have been. And so um, um, I, over the years, we've tried putting them in the dishwasher and, you know, several other things. And one of the things we found is you're supposed to use like denture tablets and put that in and, and the fizzy will help clean them out. Of course, you can get your brush in there and go to town. We're going to cover it pretty much with fabric, with fabric or lace. And so um, I'm not really going to worry about it. But I want to tell you that when I do a bottle, I really decide on the top first, whether I'm going to use a crystal doorknob, a rusty doorknob, um, Hi, Kay. I just saw a friend of mine. Hi, Karen. <laughs> that makes me feel good. Um, anyway, you, you, your, your bottle top um, kind of sets the tone for your bottle theme, I guess. So, like, if you pick a rusty top, let's say, like, this one is real rusty and crusty. So, I would think I'm going to hang, like, nuts and bolts and, and things with my lace or whatever I choose to cover it with kind of sets the tone. If you do a crystal doorknob, you might want it a little more romantic. So it just depends on your choice of tops to set the tone. And I think if you, it, it lessens the broadness of possibility for me, okay? So I'm just giving you my way of thinking. So um, the first thing you do to adhere your bottle is if you only have one or two, take them shopping with you, stick doorknobs, stick, stick cabinet do knobs, stick anything that you can find that'll fit down in here and see what you think of it. And um, if it fits well, great. If it doesn't, like this one, I'm going to show you, is a little, little bit wobbly. Um, there's not a whole lot to adhere down. So um, I'm going to take some E6000. And I added, I found an old rusty washer and I'm gonna add the washer and it fits much more, much more securely. I mean, it's a little bit wobbly, but I think once it gets glued down, it's gonna be much, much more secure. And it doesn't, on, on my bottle, what I'm doing, it doesn't matter if, if any of the glue drips inside or anything like that, okay? It doesn't matter. So this is what I do. And I've already chosen a top last night and got it all glued down so I don't have to try and keep the top secure. But I have found over the years, and I've been doing bottles for a long, long time, uh, I've found over the years that having my top on just kind of really guides me where what it needs. Does it need gold? Does it need silver? Does it need, you know, more bling? Whatever. And yes, you can use your... Um, you can use your um, rub and buff and brighten it up or whatever if you need to. But it's really, really helpful to um, to mo mo um, to adhere your tops, I, I think. Um, so let me see which, yeah, the words on the little dial show up better this way. The words on the bottle are here. I'm going to square up the dial with the bottle. So here's what I have. Okay, see that? And then I'm not doing this bottle tonight. I just, I didn't want to shortchange you on a very important part of building your bottle. So I'm going to put this one aside and we'll do it another day. We'll do it another day and that'll be a fun one. But for now, um, I'm going to put it aside or make sure I'll kind of check it throughout the evening, make sure it's sitting straight. The E6000 will hold really well. If it happens to let go, you can always re-glue it. Like it's not the end of the world. If it lets go in shipping or whatever, you know what I mean? It's fine. It's fine, fine, fine. So, okay. Next thing we're going to do um, is take an actual bottle that I've done. Um, you found several bottles? Yes, yes, you can for sure. Um, you can find them anywhere. So, I I chose this um, gas gauge, I believe is what it's some kind of a, of a um, valve, a valve, I would say. 
Um, and it's a very pretty one. So I chose one of my prettiest, well, probably the prettiest one that I had and adhered it to this bottle. I chose this bottle just because it was a little bit bigger. And then, I mean, there's all different kinds of valves. You see that? And you could put your valve in this way or you could put it in this way, however it's gonna fit your bottle. Um, and you can't just buy something and assume it's gonna fit because all of your tops are different. Uh, Kim, I find them out antique shopping. Um, you can you can do knobs from Hobby Lobby. You guys don't have to do old. Now most of the knobs that I have will turn, but some of them have been are locked up or they're screwed in so tightly that I can't turn them. I don't need to turn them. It doesn't matter. I'm just letting you know. Um, you know, Daryl, I um, dyed that little piece that I cut off in part two, and I put it in some tea, and it came out way too dark. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna dump some tea out of my pot. I haven't done it yet. I just did it a little bit ago. Um, and then I'm going to add, I'm going to add a bunch of water to tone down the darkness of the tea. If you don't know what we're talking about right there, I did a video yesterday where we, um, did two parts to build a Valentine, a vintage Valentine heart. And we were, we were all kind of 50, 50 on whether to use this really old vintage lace that I had pleated with red edges. So anyway, um, Okay, so now my top is down and you can see, I know that I'm gonna go in the golds. I know that I can go kind of rustic. I'll show you the items that I pulled um, for this. Um, and then I've got more, I've got drawers and drawers of stuff right here beside of me if these don't work out. But I pulled a pin, I pulled an earring, I pulled another pin, I pulled another pin, I pulled a tag. I pulled another pin and another pin. I pulled a couple of chains and some earrings. Uh, here's another earring and it looks like a button. So there's just a few things that I pulled. Um, the bottles are your favorites. Now listen, if you're like, I don't like lace, I'm not into all of that look. Find yourself a really cool chunky necklace. Like, well, this isn't really chunky, but look, look at that and you could be done. Like. That's just really cool right there. Wrap some seam binding or some lace around the tippy top of it. Put a little cut of uh, fabric or a little piece of a, of a um, you could do another seam binding that matched this and put a button on it or a little pearl earring. And of course this is gold, but you know, stick a pearl earring down here to pull all the pearls and you're done. So you could do something like this and it's gorgeous, but I wanna do, I wanna do more than that. But I wanted to show you how, you know, how simple it can be. So then we also have found that, that the thin lace is really nice. And I meant to pull a chunky doily, but you know what I mean by a really thick, I didn't grab one, I've got them right there, but you know what a thick doily is. So when you put a thick doily on your bottle, it's just, it's a lot of texture and it's good. I've done it before myself. I've done a little corner of it, you know, down here, just a little, like a little wedge of a chunky doily with the with the thinner stuff around but you can like I have all of this when I say thin I mean really thin like this I feel like it covers the bottle nicely but yet it still um, allows you to see through the bottle and this is a little heavier but still very very thin you can tell you guys can tell okay so I sorted through that bag I have it in a Ziploc bag hi Chris um, oh thanks Daryl hey Bridget your yeah bottles are my favorite too um, so I have that, I keep it in a bag in my drawer, I have a drawer of old bottles. So <laughs> doesn't everybody have a drawer of old bottles? <laughs> so I pulled some things just because I don't know how long an hour is going to be. You know what I mean? I know how long an hour is, but I mean, I don't know how, sometimes an hour is like, oh my gosh, I'm done and I have 20 minutes. What am I going to do? And other times it's like, oh my gosh, I need another hour. Right? So, um, I, I kind of did a little bit ahead, but didn't assemble anything without you. So now what I want to do is measure how much of this lace I want. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to do that a little bit better job of that. Okay. So I'm going to go, looks like to there. Let's go a little bit more generous. Just a little bit. I don't need a huge overlap. Okay, and then I'm done with that lace. Then what I'm going to do is find the back, which obviously 
from my perspective, this is the back. So I'm gonna put that down. Okay, putting that down. And then I'm gonna get, I got Super 77 again. So you guys know that, oh, thank you. Um, I'm gonna be auctioning this off when we're all done. So we'll see, we'll see if you guys really like it or not, right? <laughs> Are you telling me the truth? <laughs> um, so you just spray a little Super 77. Um, any kind of stencil adhesive, any adhesive spray will work. Um, because you want just a light mist. I don't want big chunky glue. I don't want to worry about anything showing through it. And this is plenty of tack. I'll show you here in just a jiffy. But let me put this, let me put this aside. Okay. So Super 77, you get it. It's a hardware store. Um, oh yeah, I did see Chris wasn't feeling, feeling well. Hey Martha, thank you. So, um, what was I thinking? I'm thinking about Chris. Um, Let's see, so then I wanna figure out the front and back. Now this, the sides of this bottle uh, says Herberling Bloomington, Illinois is what this bottle says. And I can tell you that the bottom looks like, it feels like there's a little chunk out of it, but really it's the mold, it's the way it was um, made. It's extra thick in the bottom, probably like our two liter bottles now, you know how they, <laughs> They're, you know, filling up so you can put less product in. <laughs> Maybe that started a long time ago in Bloomington, Illinois. Who knows? Oh, shoot. I just saw I blinked. Okay. I did this yesterday and the day before. Yes, I'm back. I'm back. So if it freezes, come back at um, 7.55 for the auction. I'll be like five minutes before the end. Um, and just know I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop because any replays will continue through and, and, and that freezing will just be a little blip. I don't know why it does it. I can't do any more to my Wi-Fi. Um, I'm all good. I've unplugged. I've done everything. So, um, it is what it is. So, and I don't know, maybe it's Facebook and not me. I can't say for sure. Okay. So we've got our sticky. So I wanted to show you too, like now see how it see so when you okay it it makes it nice and sticky and it lasts that sticky really does last hi linda <laughs> you're here she's been helpful linda's been helping me <laughs> with technical stuff let's see do i want to put that down the middle is that going to bug somebody that it's off it doesn't bug me but Hang on a minute. I want to scoochie this over a little bit. I'm going to scoot my seam over and make it more in the middle. Hang tight. Let's try that again. So if I start my seam at the middle of my bottle and then wrap. Okay, now I should be good. Now I should be good. Okay. Wow, look at the overlap. <laughs> it tightens up when it gets uh, sticky. I didn't have that much overlap when I measured it. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Good, I'm glad. I'm sorry that I get blipped out every now and again, darn it. Stinks. Stinks for me, stinks for you. Just stinks for everybody, especially for an important event like this. Okay, so I'm just straightening up my seam and then I'm going to work on my overlap here. Pressing it all down. I'm going to fold it back here just like you would paper, right? We just pretend it's paper. Don't you be like, oh, it's fabric. I don't know how to work with fabric. It's fine. Just pretend it's paper and you'll be fine. Okay. I didn't keep those snippets because they're sticky and they're just going to cause a mess in my drawer. So, okay. Oops, I'm a little crickety. Then I'm just gonna take this and kind of just let it go where it wants. I'm almost gonna treat it like a present, like a package. I just want it down nice and tight. And because I have that spray adhesive on there, look how well, look what it does when it's thin. I know I got a couple buckles, but that's all gonna be covered anyway. Um, but see how nice and tight it is? So that is, that's a good thing, okay? That's why I like the spray adhesive over the glue and it doesn't leave any residue, any crispies on the outside of your lace, you know, it just, it's just nice. So here's our bottle covered completely. 
And then I thought what I might like to do, which you all know that know me, I love it too. You all know that know me, I don't love to sew, but sometimes sewing is like really necessary. And so let me show you, um, you could do this with glue, but I don't, I don't want to do that. But so I love this little piece of old lace. And if you just wrapped it, like it's going to buckle up here and it's just not going to be super great. So you could put a little bit of glue, pinch this up and stick it in the glue and then do a little bit more glue, pinch it up and stick it in the glue. And that's what I used to do actually, honestly, because I do not like sewing. I don't like making, you know, 20 knots. I always tell you, you tie 20 knots and hope that eventually two of them will hit the same spot, <laughs> that kind of stuff. I, I just don't, I just don't like it. But I've been doing more and more with some of the bottles. Like some of the bottles we make are like doll, like old porcelain doll heads and we make dresses. And when I say we, I'm talking about our friend Julie. She and I kind of have the same um, interests when it comes to this sort of stuff. And so we have a great time shopping and crafting together, looking for treasures for us and for you. And um, so yeah, when I refer to we, of course I always say we, you know, I paint houses with a team of girls and it's all it's never just me it's always a you know takes a village right it's always <laughs> i've not really been a me 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 person so at least i try not to be uh okay i'm i'm concentrating here i see a little a little i have a little spot where it's ripped apart mm -hmm. just thinking about what to do about that i think i'm gonna just put a little dab of glue on it like i did yesterday i put a little dab of glue on something yesterday that had a little i don't remember it was something to do with those valentine hearts um oh my glue is not oh i gotta get this hang on that's one thing i forgot to put on my glue plug in my glue gun i forgot that yesterday hang on oh there, there we go okay well i'm not gonna glue that down now it probably doesn't matter but dang it i sat here i sat here I have 40 minutes, then I had 20 minutes. Yeah, I found a little something to do. Then I have 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, now what do I do? So I went up and freshened up my makeup, <laughs> and brush through my hair, come back down. That took four minutes. So then I'm sitting here, mm -hmm, you know, waiting, waiting. <laughs> what else can I do? Hell, I didn't turn my glue gun for Pete's sake. <laughs> what a dummy. Always something. I, 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 yeah, always something. I always tell everybody. Are you nervous when you do this? No, but there's always something that's going to go wrong and you just don't know what it's going to be. But that's all it is. We're good. We're good shape. So, uh, hi, Justin. How are you doing? I walked in the door from work today and I thought I've got to get on and see. Um, Justin, let's see. You were first one up. So what? Oh, I must have walked into work is what it was. And then when I had a break, I checked, I checked in and <laughs> the minute I hit, you know, to watch you, you leaned in kind of sideways and said goodbye. <laughs> I said hi, but I don't think it got, I think you shut it off before I got there. I'm like, good grief. <laughs> I'm a terrible friend. <laughs> My timing was so, it was just so funny. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta, I gotta turn this on and watch people. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, when you pull this, they call it ruching, um, I believe. We do that with curtains and, and the stack back when you push it back, you know. So uh, when you do that, but look what it does. And so I don't have to worry about the glue leaving like a flat spot and then a nice puckery spot. I can pucker it tight, tight, okay, and then pull it back. Um, consistently where I need it. So here we go. We've got our little bottle. And I just saw it kind of wobble because my table is not that great. Um, I have put them on a large washer. Oh, look at that. That is a perfect. Oh my gosh, who I would have known. That is the perfect size. Isn't that sweet? I love that little um, extra touch. So, okay. Um, I've put like a big washer underneath just anything that will stabilize it if you need to. It's a little top heavy, to be honest, but I think once you get it on your mantle or wherever you're gonna put it on your dresser, it should be fine, I'm not gonna do that. 
Um, okay, and then I laid this. So I'm not going to put that on right now because I'm going to wrap some stuff around the neck of it. Uh, but I did take this chunkier, but I'm not going to need it. I was thinking more of the topping. We don't need that. It just, it doesn't need it. You've already got action. So we're not going to do that to it. So um, let's get on with, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to hang down a couple of things. And I pulled just a couple of chains. I don't have a whole lot of chains. I need different kinds of chains. You guys that send me things that are out looking for things, <laughs> There's something you can look for. I know you guys enjoy doing that sometimes. Um, my treasure hunters out there. Okay, so is that, whoops, let me, let me see if that's gonna be too long. Hang on, let's see if that's gonna be too long. No, okay, so I'm gonna snip it right here and that'll give me an, oh, oh, no way. My chain went in the crack of my cords. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm like, where'd it go? I thought I fell on the floor, but it didn't, there I got it. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Where's that cut? There it is. Okay. Come on, Betty. Come on. It's so thick. I don't want you that long. Okay. There we go. All right. Put that over there to put back in the box. Now, I have some seam binding here that kind of contrasted with the, um, uh, hi Jane Ann, we're doing good. Um, oh good, thanks Lisa, I think so too. I tried to pick a good topper last night. So I'm going to put a little seam binding in here and let me shove it through. Um, I need to put seam by so I gotta put it on both ends of this. So hang on. This could take a minute. I didn't bring my spray bottle. Let's see, do I have something tinier? Oh, I'm just gonna have to do it, you guys. I'm sorry. Just gonna have to do it. Get it through the hole. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it's so little. <laughs> okay. All right, we're in. We are in, and I'm gonna just go around the bottle and tie it off. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect length. So I'm just gonna tie it tight. I'm gonna put it in a knot. We don't need the bow. I'm gonna put it in a knot. Pull the knot tight. I'm gonna snip it off close, close here. Okay. And then we're gonna do the other one. So here's the end. Let me see if I can get it here. That one looks a little open. Like, am I gonna have to deal with that coming open? I don't have my needle nose here. I don't wanna cut it. Oh, that's fine. Okay, get that pointy again. It's pointy again. Yes, it's an old valve. Yes, it's an old valve. They make all different kinds. Um, you can go back and watch the replay. In the very beginning, I show you how to attach it, and I show you a different one. Um, they can come very rusty crusty. They can run anywhere from, you know, a couple bucks. Well, it's hard to find them for a couple bucks, but they can run up to $20 and up. Depend, like the fancy ones like this can get a little pricey, but I really like them. Um, I've done a few on these but yeah pricing is all over the place as it is with any antique you know the santa mugs that i was so crazy for all christmas uh, my goodness you could find one seller would have it for forty dollars a cup a mug and another one would have it for five you know well ten <laughs> i don't know i had any for five so yeah they, they could be all over the place okay so i'm going to just take this up above that one so i don't have a really thick knot back here and tie it down I can move it around. You saw it move a little bit on me. I can move it. All right, so let's cut this off. Okay, so. All right, I don't know that I want it in the very middle. I think I want it off to the side just to snap. All right, now I don't like that they're the same length. 
I thought, I didn't think I cut them the same length. So let me just, I don't know, cut it a little bit smaller here. If I can. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm just going to cut it a little bit smaller. I'll keep that. Um, okay, then in the end, um, if I, I'm going to decide if I want to tie anything off to it or I'm going to close this up a little bit tighter where I cut it or um, I'm just going to add a ribbon to it and be done. We're going to see what it needs. We're going to see what it needs when we get um, a little bit farther here. Um, okay, so I knew I wanted to do all of that. The other thing that I knew I wanted to do is put a button. So sometimes the valves have the open, this open hole on this side. So when you're looking at the side of the bottle, you're looking into a hole. And the first few I did, I, you know, I didn't love it, but I didn't know what to do with it. And then I had the bright idea of putting a button on there. And I do like finishing it off. So that's just a little tip if you're gonna use a valve. Normally, a lot of times we use knobs. Um, we've used all kinds of really neat things. Of course, I can't think of a single one of them right, right now in the heat of the moment, but I can tell you we've used all kinds of neat things. It's for bottle tops, okay. All right, so I found a button that fits and it has a string. I always like the strings in the, in the book. Yeah, it's a fancy button too, yes, of course. Um, I probably should do E6000 or B7000 or something like that, but I don't, I think this is going to be fine. Um, I think it's fine. I do a lot of hot gluing on these, but okay. So now when you look, it's finished and it's just pulling that color up, just a dot of it up there. So I think that's great. Okay. Now what I want to do, since I've got the chain on, now I think I can go ahead and put this on. Oh, I almost lost my chain. I should have left it longer, but I'm not putting it back on. So I'll extend an attic key or something, which I was going to do anyway. So it's fine. Okay. I'm <laughs> thinking out loud. I'm talking, thinking out loud. Okay. So we can go ahead and put this on. I'm feeling good about that. So let me um, just whip, whip. I'm going to call it a whip stitch. I don't know if that's what it is, but a lock it, a lock it in place stitch. Okay. So that it doesn't come unraveled. I'm just going to just loop it a couple of times here. I'm no seamstress. I don't know what it is and it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. That's about all the sewing you're going to get out of me tonight. <laughs> it is not my thing. So when I put my little collar on here and hook it to the back, you see how my chain, my um, my shorter chain is kind of hidden a little bit. So we'll make sure we flare it out. I could also put this up just a bit, which is what I think I'm gonna do that. So let's do our seam binding wrap first and cover up the neck of this because it looks kind of bad. Um, uh, I, don't, I, want, I like the skirt flaring out. It's a great idea, Catherine, but I kind of, kind of envisioned the skirt flaring. So I think I'll just hold it a little high. I'm gonna cover all of this up now. So I'm gonna put a dab of glue back here, just a little whatever wants to grab, can grab. Uh, and I'm gonna wrap. So I'm gonna wrap around the top, making sure there's no shiny glass showing. If I gotta go around twice, I will. Okay, got it. So then I'm gonna put another little dab just to hold it you know, wherever, just every here and there, I'll put a dab of glue, wrap it again. I'm gonna stick another little dab of glue here just to keep it from unraveling. And I'm just cleaning up. Like when you put a doorknob in the top, a lot of times it has that metal piece that's stuck to the doorknob and it's very hard to get off. Just stick it down in there. You're not gonna see it. And that's where you know you're gonna paint your bottle or do a transfer or, you know, Mod Podge, whatever on there. I've like um, photocopied pretty old postcards and whatever, put those on. Like you can do, you can do all kinds of things with it. So, okay. Now I'm actually going to go right over the top of this. Um, I'm gonna go over that and clean that up. See that? I'm gonna go over that and clean it up. It's fine, it's fine, but because I want to raise the skirt up a little bit, I'm going to cover it. 
So it's this now instead of that. Okay, it's just a little silly detail. Doesn't matter. Don't undo it. Say, oh my gosh, she told me to cover that. You don't have to. Okay, just I'm just doing that and telling you why I chose to do it on this bottle. If you have a bottle at home and that you've bought from me and you go investigate it and say, well, she didn't cover it up on my bottle. <laughs> Every bottle's different, okay? <laughs> so, okay, let's just give it a little zigzag back up just to, um, I kind of like this staining right here on this ribbon. So let me put a little dab of glue here. How many of you have a bottle from me? I mean, I've been doing them for years and years and I've sold a ton of them. It was one of the best items we sold at our shop when I had my store. Um, I sold a ton of bottles. And people would bring me like keepsakes from their, um, you know, grandmother or whatever. And I'd make a bottle out of their treasures for them. Um, maybe someone had passed and I'd make a bottle for the sisters or whatever. So that was always like. Wow, talk about bringing joy to your heart and others. That was a joyful thing we talked about in the beginning. That was a big one. Love doing that. Like my grandma's button box. This is my button box, and the top is all my grandma's jewelry from her jewelry box. And ain't a one thing in there that's like a treasure, like I would want to go buy that, or that. wow, I love that. There's not one thing. But all together in a grouping like that, it's just beautiful, and I love it because it was hers. So there's no, no treasures on that box. I don't know. There's a couple of pretty pins. Um, but yeah, nothing like fabulous. Like I didn't build it to be, show off my stuff, you know. It's more about my grandma. So, okay. So I'm holding the skirt up. There's a little um, dip in the neck up here. I'm kind of going halfway up, Okay. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, it's freezing outside. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Rula, you scared me. <laughs> I thought you meant I was freezing. <laughs> so, oh, no, not again. <laughs> yes, it's cold here, too. I, um, I don't like the cold weather. I kind of like a little bit of snow, too. We haven't had much of that. A couple little dustings. That's not exciting. That doesn't keep you home from work and mess up your schedule, you know? That's no fun. But I know there's people that have to travel in it. I, you know, I can stay home. Painting a house is in an emergency, right? So. So only one of you had a, oh, you have several old perfume. Oh, that's nice, Rula. I only saw one person that had a bottle from me. Now, I know that's not true. You guys are just being shy. You guys are just being shy. I'm going to see how many people were here. I never paid attention to that. Um, okay, so here we are. Yeah, I, would, I cut off just a, just like three links more than I wish I would have. Um, okay, so let's, so because of that, let's see here. Oh, I have this little, oh, 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 oh. Okay, I know what I'm going to do for this one. Since I did that. I'm gonna dangle this little earring. Um, so I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut it right there. What time is it? We're still fine. Um, and then I'm going to shove a piece of ribbon. Where's my end here? Oh, there it was. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna shove a piece of ribbon inside in through this little loop on the earring. You're stressing over the cold fruit. Yeah. Oh, your plants outside. Oh, Rula, where do you live? You must be in Florida or somewhere warm. You have eight to 12 inches. Donna, wow. Oh, thanks, Chris. Eight. Oh, my gosh. How fun is that? We live on a big hill, so the kids love um, sled riding. And, uh, of course, you know, we don't have kids now, per se, but the neighbor kids would love it. <laughs> We used to, my husband would, um, we'd take off on our sleds and we'd go down to the bottom of the, we'd sled ride to the bottom of the hill and then him and the dads of our friends, women in Ohio, they would, um, yes, for sure, put some sheets. Uh, they would 
drive the truck down to the bottom of the hill and we'd all pile in the back and <laughs> of course you know the guys are drinking beer and <laughs> running back up the road just you know just a, just down our little hill here it's a big hill but you know not that far and so the dads were having fun the kids were having fun the moms were having fun you know it was all fun so we always enjoyed doing that okay so yeah, so there's one chain finished off. I added just a bit of ribbon there, just a tiny little piece to pull what I'm going to put up here, okay? And then I think I'll dangle a little key from this one. I didn't pull a key, but I don't need two gems. Um, it's a, maybe a little dusty. Make it a little bit smaller, might be better. Okay. All right, so then let's take a little shred of this. I'm gonna run it through the key. And I'm gonna run it through, I got sticky on me. I'm gonna run it through the chain. See if I can get the point going. There. So many people have been sick. It's just awful. So I hope you all heard um, everything I read about the Tim Tebow Foundation and what this is all about and that all of the proceeds will go to that and the link is at the, ah oh, shoot I dropped it out of there. The link is at the top um, that you pay so whoever wins the bid on this um, will just click that link and then send me a screenshot because I have to turn that in. Um, as proof of payment and then if you haven't already ordered from me I would you'll have to mail me your mailing address um, and that's all I would need is your mailing address so you you have a little bit to do at the end of this if you are the winner but it's all easy and I can walk you through it just private message me we'll get together <coughs> Yeah, because I have to screenshot the let's see you have to screenshot the payment and then I have to turn that in before I can release the um, the bottle to you. So did I pull that too tight? I might have pulled that a little bit too tight. Okay, then I want a tail here. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Okay, and then I kind of don't want my tail up and down. I kind of want my tail side to side, like that. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our little earring. And um, yes, Ellie's Attic is up next. I just saw a text where Tammy's from the Crafty Peep is reminding her that she's up next. Okay, so now what we need to do, since we've already covered our top nicely, um, I need to add a, I wanna add like a big bow to it and get that, um, and get that taken care of. So let's do that. See, and I know I'm backwards, but it's okay. I'm just trying to judge the length of my ribbon, and I went way overboard. <laughs> oh, way overboard. Okay, that ought to be about right. So I got to turn it around for me, okay? Because hi, Teresa. Thanks, Caroline. Caroline or Carolyn? Uh, yeah, could go either way, right? pulling the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Okay. Then I have to decide. I think I want the bow off to the side over here a little bit. Okay, just a little tiny bit. So let's see how I did on size. Am I too short? I'm a little bit too short. Sorry, I gotta redo. Um, yes, I did. I heard that too. Yes, we'll, uh, Say a little prayer for everybody that's been under the weather. Good grief. More people have been sick than not sick. So, okay, I know I need a little bit more here. There's one, there's one. So, let's see, this is my bigger, so I'm gonna go like that much bigger. I'm gonna get my loop straightened out here, and that's why I don't cut it until I'm sure. <laughs> it makes it a little bit more confusing, but then I can adjust it and I didn't lose any. Okay, 
So this ribbon is old uh, a seam binding. If you need a link, it's it's just a creamy color that I have tea stained and wrinkled and um, made yummy. Why is that not pulling? There it is. I couldn't find the loop that needed pulled. Okay, I got it now. There, I got you. I got you. Little tricky thing. Okay. Oh, and then it's up too high. Oh, for goodness sake. I might have to adjust that down. Let's see if I can. It went up onto my valve a little bit. Oh, did we mind that? I'm kind of towards that little edge. Maybe I'm going to push it back up there. kind of don't mind that, actually. That was, a, you know, one of those good accidents. Yes, I do, Linda. If you go to um, Tammy Loves Vintage on YouTube and type in seam binding, I showed many, many, many times how to do it. I showed, um, or you could do tea stain. I showed how to do muslin, like all the things. Um, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. There's over 600. So, it, oh my gosh, there's Kim Henry. Hi, girl. Haven't seen you in a long time. So funny how close you feel to online people that you've never even met. You can see me just light up when I saw her. <laughs> Nice of you to come on and say hello. I appreciate that, Kim. Nice to see you here. You do get to know your followers, you know? Oh, thank you. I pull it out and then I pull it tight and then, you know, I pull it down to make it smaller. Um, I really, really did a good job of that uh, yesterday in that um, Valentine, uh, Vintage Valentine, it's titled part one and part two. I did those yesterday. And we really went over the bow thing at one point. So is that too long? I don't know. I don't. I kind of like it long. For some, sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. I'm trying to. Oh, there. That got it to the side. But did it take it up too high? Hang on, a little bit. Okay. Now I have to decide which item I want in the middle. And now that I now you can see why I pulled so many things. Um, hi, Peggy. <laughs> I'm live. Um, I need a frost cloth. Yes, to keep her plants safe. Yes, she does. So this is just a tiny little thing that would really finish off this nicely. This one's even smaller and I don't like it as well. This one's way more vintagey looking. Um, it's just a gem. You can see all the different colors. I kind of like the golds of that. Um, I have these earrings are hooked together. Let me get these things apart. Oh, heck. I'm just gonna cut it because I'll never use we don't have backs anyway. Let's see how we feel about that. It's got a little hook on it. I can get it in there. Um, oh, I don't mind that. So I have this little gold one here. Kind of goes with the um the earring there. It's a little extra gold. Or I like this one too. And it's a little more rustic, so it goes with the top. I think if it were me, I would want them more rustic, but I don't know. It'll go either way. Um, what else do I have? I mean, I have like these big jobbies, but we don't need them. I, I don't want to overkill. I mean, I brought all kinds of big stuff. I don't love it. Nah, I know I don't love it. I'm not going to waste the time. So tell me your vote. Sh oh, thank you, Kim. Sh sh um, shout out. You like the round one, Linda? Okay. Round or gold? Let's say that. Round or gold? Tell me what you think. I'll let you guys... I'm not shamelessly trying to get posts. I'm totally curious. I really am curious. You like the rustic too? Okay, that's two votes. Okay, that's three votes. Okay, that's good enough. I just, yeah, round. Okay, it's all the same. Good, good, good. Okay, you guys were all on the, oh, we're, it's unanimous. Okay, got it. I mean, you can keep doing it because Facebook will be like, what's going on? It's here with this vintage, right? They'll love it. And we'll send it out to more people. Okay, so I'm going to just put it in the middle of this bow. Okay, and then press it down so that it stays in the middle and it aims where I want it to. I want it to aim down, not up. I want it to aim kind of out and down. Not too far down now. A little miss. Not, yeah, okay, out. More out than down, I guess. Hang on. <laughs> I was upside down. There we go. Just like that. Good, good, good girl. Okay, here's where we are. 
I need to cut I need to cut these just a bit. They're just a little bit too long and they're taken away from the keys and stuff. So, okay, let's get them even with the scarfy um, necklace thing. All right. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I want to fix this seam back here and I'm going to put a, a little line of buttons uh, down the down the seam and I don't want them to match and I'm just going to pick all of the ones with the little bit of string in them. I love the little strings in them. It just adds a little bit more texture. Uh, so I'm going to do that and I want them to be different. I want them to all... I don't want the same button. I want large and small. I want it to be interesting. Okay, so there's a little one and then go back to a big one. I've got some four holes. I've got some two holes. I've got some plastic. I have some, what's that? Um, is it alabaster? Whatever they call that. I have some of those. Um, I'm putting that one on upside down because I like the way the string's hanging off of that, okay? Uh, let's do a couple more here. Find one more with a string in it. Ooh, that's a really good one. Boy, I hate to put that at the edge. You might not even see it, but boy, I love that one. It's a double string. <laughs> I'll show it to you in a minute. And then I think just to be cheater and just because it's hard to find the buttons with the string sometimes, I'm going to put one up there with no string. You're not going to see it, but it's it does finish the bottle off in case, you know, your best friend's like, what the heck did you buy? <laughs> and is really inspecting it. It goes all the way up, okay? <laughs> okay. And then let me just show you what they look like. See that? See the top one, how it doesn't have a string? It's not as awesome. Do you see what the strings do to add? Now, years ago, I cut the strings out. I'm like, I don't want those dirty strings in there. And now I'm like, ooh, give me all the strings, right? <laughs> so you learn. You guys are learning from me. So if you're looking at it and thinking, I don't want those dirty strings on there, I'm going to cut them off. Wait, because the more into this sort of thing, if you really are thinking, I kind of like that stuff, um, you're going to wish you left your strings alone. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm just trying to fluff this up a little bit. I feel like it um, fell down a little tighter than I wanted it to. So I'm just seeing if I can't, um, I'm wondering if I, I mean, like if it were mine, I kind of want it to flare out a little bit more. Um, and I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, could I, could I wrap more seam binding underneath here to make it stick out more? Or like a rubber band. Like if it were mine, I'd wrap a rubber band under that baby and fill her out. But I'm, and maybe, look, maybe it just needs trained. Like maybe I just need to train it out there. Because there, I really like it like that. More like a skirt. More like a little dress on it. Um, so here we are. Now, we can keep going. You know, you could keep going and doing more with it. The only other thing I can think of off the top of my head. Let's go ahead and do it. Just because we have like four minutes and be thinking about if you love this bottle we are doing this for the Tim Tebow foundation um, I read a little blurb here in the beginning um, it says this um, save the kids event is to raise funds for the Tim Tebow foundation whose mission is to help special needs children with physical and emotional trauma and disabilities the foundation focuses on helping the innocent and the vulnerable the foundation motto, which I love, and everyone in the group loved this, it is MVP, most vulnerable people. Okay, um, yeah, a little bit of netting or something, yeah, something to push it out. Um, but I think I think I can get it out. Of course, when I pack it and wrap it, whoever gets this will have to fuss with it a little bit. But what I thought I would do is just a single layer. I have a little tail here. I'm going to make a little bow. I'm sure those of you that follow me frequently know what I'm going to do, but we'll see. Okay, let's see if we need to adjust this down a little bit or not. But so I've got these things hanging a little bit to the side. So I think I'm going to go right here and I think that's not too bad. Um, it might be just a snap big. So when your bow's a little big, you just pull on your, once you get it made, you pull on your little tails, which pulls, see, it pulls your little loops in, and then pull it again. And then you can keep adjusting. Sometimes when you pull it again, it goes right back to where it was. Just keep playing and pulling until you get it. Um, yeah, until you get it. 
um, what, what you saying, Kim? What you saying there, Fran? Uh, I have some too. Oh, yes. Yes. That's just my, yes. <laughs> That's this little bow maker. Maybe we should add that. So, okay, I think this is going to be a sweet little touch, and I'll show you real quick, and then we'll get ready to roll. Um, the link to whoever wins, the link is at the top. I'm sure I'll say it again and again, but the link is at the top in my description of what you're going to, um, where you're going to go to pay. Okay, you don't pay me, you pay the link at the top, and then screenshot your receipt and send it to me so I can post it. Um, in the group for the leader of the group to know that that can be, the bottle can be released to you. I will pay shipping and all the proceeds go to the foundation, okay? So let me show you what I just did. Let me give you a go around the circle with it. It's 7.52, so we have three minutes. Actually, I'm going to say two minutes before um, who Ellie's Attic is up after me and then um, Creation Station, um, Creative Community, sorry, no. Yeah, creation sta a Carol Roots Creation Station is up after her, and then that's the end of today's event. So, okay, we have the little pin, we have the seam binding bow, we have the little skirt, we have a couple of chains hanging down. One has an old key, one has an old earring. I added a little button, of course, with the string. We've got our vintage lace, vintage lace. We've got buttons up the back. And then we have a button covering the valve, the hole in the valve, which is supposed to be there. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Betty. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Sherry. Um, and then there you go. Oh, my bow's a little crooked. I'll have to adjust. I'll have to, uh, I might have to glue that. I don't know why it's twisted. I was probably standing wonky, holding my tongue wonky when I tied it. And I didn't cut this little string, I see. Flaws, flaws, flaws. Besides that, it's perfect. <laughs> right? Besides that, it's perfect. I think it's adorable. I love the movement on it. Um, I think it's very, very sweet. So, um, now here's the gig. We're going to, we've got, we've got a five minute, um, that's a long time to bid on this. So, uh, I, I mean, I would think, let's see, let's see, let's just think about what, um, let's see I'm going to say um, I'd like to see um, probably $40. If you're a smart shopper, you could probably find all of these things for that. Maybe a little less. Um, sometimes the lace is bundled, so it's hard to break that down. But you probably, you know, plan on having $40 in it. Um, oh, Susie, you're off and running. Um, yeah, it's 54 but it's 35 seconds, so hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. I'm gonna start at, oh well, hell, let's just go. 545, or let's see, it's 540, let's see, 54, 55, 60, 78, 59. So at 59, I'll have to tell you to stop because I don't have a stopper unless somebody has a five minute, <laughs> so we can do five minutes. So okay, let's go. You're already where I, yeah. You're great. So in 65, um, if you look on Etsy, you guys can find these bottles decorated. They're very expensive. Oh, Linda, bless your heart. Um, I have $100, and that's that's kind of where they end up being on Etsy. I tend to go a little, you know, I just try to cover my fees when I'm selling at my sales. But yeah, you guys are, you guys know what it's worth and it's a great foundation. Yeah, you're hitting it. You're hitting it right there. So we have 110 with Claudia Fouts. It was, um, we did it at 54, five, six, seven, eight, five, yeah, so 59, I have to go to 59. Shelly at 125. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. And thanks, Linda, for starting me out so great. You guys really started out. Great. I'm glad you love it. That makes me feel good. I wasn't sure how long it would take. So I'm glad that I was able to complete it. I completed it perfect. I mean, I couldn't have figured it out any better time-wise. So we're at 125. We're at 125. And we have like three more minutes. That's a, Five minutes is a long time, but it's a good cause. So again, um, Shelly Astry was first at 125. Susie, I see your 125, but Shelly was first at the same number. 
So Claudia is in at 126. That's the way you play the game, right? <laughs> That's the way you play the game. It's a beauty. I'll take pictures and post front and back <clears throat> before I mail it out to the winner. Thank you, Jennifer. Before I mail it out to the winter. Um, oh, yes. It's really, really pretty. There's 130 for Shelly. Yeah, it's really beautiful. It's a great gauge. Um, I, I showed one earlier. What did I do with it? Here it is. I showed a much smaller one earlier and how you can put it on your bottle this way or you could put it on your bottle this way or you could balance it and get it right, you know, on this little screw and put it this way. Typically, this is, the well, not really. They usually have that bend in them because the knob is always out here to the side. I see 135 for Linda Glenn. I'm no shipping. I will cover the shipping for you. Um, but anyway, this is like a smaller version, but you can see how intricate and fancy this particular one is. Let's see, 57. We've got a minute and a half. We have a minute and a half. 140 for Shelly. You guys, thank you so much. That's just... I, I'm a little choked up, actually. I'm a little choked up, so yay. Thank you so much. Um, gosh, I hope Tammy's proud of me. <laughs> I hope she likes my creation. I'm glad I chose a bottle. I'm glad I went back to my vintage roots with the things that I very first started finding all of my friends here on Facebook um, by doing. And I think that these were one of the things that really um, kicked me off. Oh, I see a flaw. I see a flaw where I finished my lace if I see anything else, but I'm gonna add a little button right here where the lace stops, okay? We can't have a flaw. At $140, we can't have a flaw. <laughs> we can't, we can't, can't. All right, so let's do that. What time is it? 158, so we got 30 seconds, it looks like. And it will be over, and the high bid is 140 with Shelly. Okay, oh yeah. Just the littlest touch, but look how that finished. Um, you're in Canada. Oh, Catherine, I send to Canada all the time. That's not a problem. You love the old bottles. Um, yeah, we can't have a flaw for Pete's sake, but yeah. So where that lace finished overlapping is where I put it. So Stephanie Young, last minute in at 141, and you have four seconds, three seconds, Two seconds, one, I think I'm supposed to allow for a leg. Oh, no, I don't know how to do that. 141, let's give it, um, let's give it 10 seconds for a lag. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, Shelly Astro at 150. Oh, I hope that's not dirty dog, Stephanie. Oh, my gosh. Shelly came in at 150 at the 10 second mark for the lag. Um, Oh, Catherine, I see what you're saying for the donation. I understand. I thought you meant for shipping. It was fine. I do ship to Canada. Um, on my website, you'd have, like, if you're ever shopping on my website, TammyLovesVintage.com, it's linked at the top, you can um, message me and we'll figure it out. Um, I can get it there. There's no way to put it in for shipping to Canada on my website. So, you guys, thank you. I've got a roll. And I've got just 15 seconds to say goodbye, to thank you all, to please spread the love. I don't want to say the word. I'm going to say it. <laughs> S-H-A-R-E. <laughs> so anyway, uh, up next, go watch um, Ellie's Attic, or you can join the free group called um, CCC. If you just type that in, um, it's Crafty Creators Community. Uh, Tammy is there with the Crafty Peep, and she will show the last two in there. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great night, and um, congratulations. Was it Shelly? Yeah, Shelly asked you. She, way, way to hang in there. I think she started us off. Yeah, great. Okay, good night. Thanks again.